I got a 2010 Dodge Journey here that the check engine light has come on for a couple days and we put the code reader on it and it's coming up as manifold tuning valve control performance and we're going to show you how to go about taking care of that right now. I'm going to start by popping the shroud to cover off the engine here. Yeah, I'm guessing it's this one. It looks like there's another identical one in the back here. I'm not real sure. But we're going to pull off this front one here and then clean it up and hopefully that code will disappear. If not, I guess we'll have to do the back one. 10 millimeter socket. Looks like there's four bolts holding it on. Um, there's a connection on the bottom. We'll disconnect the wires first. And yeah, there's a red tab right there. Just slide that down and then it pops right out of there. And then we just wiggle that back and forth and there it comes. That is not it. Apparently it's the one in the back, so that's the one we're going after now. Got the same kind of wiring harness to remove. Four bolts just like the other one. a little more muscle to get this one off there it is it's obviously pretty filthy so we got some throttle body cleaner and we're gonna spray it right on there and see what it looks like. So we pulled the front one off thinking maybe that was it. Not real familiar with this vehicle, but this is actually the intake manifold runner valve, they call it, which is a completely different animal. The uh, outside looks pretty much identical, I think. But the one we're after on this particular vehicle is in the back. We lost a little O-ring that's in the on the very tip of that thing. And we're doing a good job of retrieving it using the using the camera. And we're able to fish that thing out of there. I almost forgot that was in there. Okay, 
Okay, now for the reinstallation process. Everything's uh, put back as far as that goes. Now we just put that front piece back in again. Ah! All right, got that done. Now we'll check and see if that engine light is gone all right so we cleaned the tuning valve up and replaced it put everything back put the cover back on the engine we um, took the computer we cleared the codes the code again so the check engine light is gone and we drove it around gave it a good test run test drive And now the indicator is gone. So even after driving it around, we parked it for a few hours, started it back up, the, the check engine light continues to be off. So what we had was a dirty, uh, dirty tuning valve, cleaned it up with some carb and manifold cleaner and everything's a go. So if that hadn't worked, we probably would have had to replace that part and it's about an $80 part, but we're good to go. Thanks for watching.